Okay, so this is our example number 3 for chapter 6, Double Integration Method. Determine the location and value of the maximum depletion in the beam. Number 2, draw the elastic curve of the beam using Double Integration Method. Take E as 200 gigapascal and I as 100 times 10 raised to 6 millimeter to the fourth. And this is our beam. Yan. So yung ating beam mayroong overhang. Okay, and yung overhang natin is yung segment AB. So meron tayo dong load na 200 pounds. Then, the segment BC naman, meron tayong distributed load na 100 pounds per feet. And as you can see, yung ating namang I is constant along the beam. Ibig sabihin, ito ay prismatic beam. So ang gagawin ulit natin is yung, ano, kagaya lang din nung, ano, yung ginawa natin sa problem number 1 and number 2. Yung ECS method, okay, to determine the detection and slope of the beam. So, hindi na tayo magpa-continuity condition dito. Okay? So, ang gawin natin, uh, kunin mo natin yung mga reaction. Okay? So, ang gawin natin yung reaction na lang sa BV. Okay, huwag natin kunin yung reaction at uh, at D. Sorry, this is RD dapat. Yeah. RD. Since, ang gagawin naman natin is mag sa tayo sa so, natin dito, sa point na to. Okay? So, ang gagawin natin yan, yeah, dito tayo mag moment at distance x okay okay so stop natin yung ano bb so let's take moment at d summation of moment at d is equals to 0 clockwise is positive so ang ating bb iikot ng clockwise at uh, d so therefore bb is positive multiplied by 6 plus 4, so that is 10 feet. Then, 200 pounds, iikot siya ng uh, counterclockwise. So, negative 200 multiplied by 4 plus 6 plus 4, that is uh, 14, 14 feet. Okay, minus 120 pounds multiplied by 6. Okay, so, 120 multiplied by 6 multiplied by its moment arm. Ang moment arm nito is located at the center of PC. So, that is uh, 6 over 2, then plus 4 feet is equals to 0. Okay, so BV, 200 pounds, and 120. So, let's solve. BV is X multiplied by 10 minus 200 multiplied by 14 minus 120 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 6 over 2 plus 4 is equals to 0 so 784 so yung ating BV is equivalent to 784 pounds so since positive na kuha natin tama yung direction na inassume natin sa BV okay that is directed upward so let's take a moment at this point so M is equals to Ang BB natin si ikot ng counterclockwise. Oh, wait. Una na natin itong uh, 200 kasi buo naman na X yung kanyang uh, distance. Kaya mas madali yun. So, negative 200 multiplied by X. Negative kasi counterclockwise. Then, BB iikot ng counterclockwise. Uh, yes, count sorry, counterclockwise itong 200. And, BB iikot ng clockwise. So, that is positive BB na 784. Pero, yung moment arm niya is X minus ito. Okay, so x minus 4. Then yung 120 pounds, ang gagawin natin dyan, i-extend natin. Okay? I-extend natin siya. So, maglalagay tayo ng imaginary uh, extension of the load. Okay, ang tawag ito is, ano, alam ko rin is superposition. Okay. Pero, kung nag-add tayo rito, kasi diba sa, ano, original, ah, uh, Tayo ito sa totoo, ito talaga is wala. So, para mawala ito, mag-add din tayo dito. Yan, ng same magnitude. Yan. Okay? Yan. Same magnitude rin to. So, this is also equals to 120 pounds per feet. Okay, ito rin. Okay, so, para ano lang siya. Nag-add ka, then nag-minus ka. Yun lang din siya. Okay? So, ang gagawin natin dyan, 
unahin natin to. Ayan. So, ang rotation nito is, ano, um, counterclockwise. So, that is negative 120 multiplied by this distance. Ang distance na to is x minus 4. So, x, x minus 4. Okay. Ayan. Then, x minus 4, yung kanya uh, ano, tawag ito, uh, moment arm is kalahati ng x minus 4. So, x minus 4 over 2. Ayan. Then, ito naman yung maliit na to. So, this is what? x minus 10. So, ang equal naman to is clockwise. So, that is positive 120 multiplied by x minus 10. Then, ang moment arm niya is yung nasa kalahati ng x minus 10. So, that is x minus 10 over 2. Ayan. So, medyo mahaba-haba. So, i-simplify natin. So, m is equals to negative 200 multiplied by x plus 784 multiplied by x minus 4. Okay? Then, ito, i-simplify natin ito. Didivide natin yung 2. So, that is uh, negative 60 multiplied by x minus 4. Then, ito, raise to 2. Raise to 2. Okay? Then, ito, i-divide natin yung 2. So, that is positive 60 multiplied by x minus 10. Then, raise to so, ito na gagamitin natin na moment. Ayan. Okay. So, ngayon, ito na yung ating EI Y double prime. It's equivalent to negative 200 multiplied by X plus 784 multiplied by X minus 4. Okay. Minus 60 multiplied by x minus 4 squared plus 60 multiplied by x minus 10 squared. Yan. So, nagagawa natin dyan, integrate natin. So, para makuha yung EIY prime or yung sa slope equation. So, ito nyan is negative 200 divided by 2. So, that is uh, 100. Okay. So, 100x squared plus 784 divided by 2. Ilan yun? 784 divided by 2. Ilan nga? Tiyan x. Tama. 784. Okay. So, 784 divided by 2. So, 392. Multiplied by x minus 4. Then, ito kasi naka-aristo sa 1. So, 1 plus 1, 2. Okay. Then, ito, uh, divided by 3. Kasi, 2 plus 1 yun eh. So, this is, 16 divided by 3 is 20. X minus 4 cube. Then, ito yan is positive 20 multiplied by X minus 10 cube. Okay? Cube, yan. Plus C1. So, integrate natin ulit yung whole equation. Okay? Para makuha naman yung EIY. So, this is negative 100 divided by 3. So, that is 33.33. So, negative 33.33x squared. Ah, sorry. x cubed na pala. x cubed. Plus, ito rin, uh, divided by 2. 390, uh, sorry, divided by 3 pala. 392 divided by 3. So, 130.67. So, plus 130.67 multiplied by x minus 4. Okay, raised to 3. Then, ito divided by 4 na siya. So, negative 20 divided by 4 is 5. So, 5 multiplied by x minus 4 raised to 4. Okay. Plus 5 multiplied by x minus 10 raised to 3 plus 1, 4. Then, plus C1X plus C2. Ayan. Okay, so, ito yung equation na gagamitin natin for deflection. And, ito naman yung equation na gagamitin natin for slope. Okay? Ayan. So, di natin gagamit ng uh, continuity condition. Ang gagamitin na lang natin is boundary condition. Ayan. 
ang haba ng equation natin ha sa boundary condition okay so mas yung mga support natin okay at b and d so at b yung ating x is meron ng distance that is 4 feet okay then yung ating ano uh, y sa b is 0 kasi may support dyan eh okay so this is equals to 0 then ito ayan meron tayong mga ano dito mga distance okay so ganyan is 0 it's equivalent to 3 point sorry negative pala negative 33.33 .33 x cube then ito okay 4 and 4 so mag 0 yan so 0 na ta then ito 0 din okay ito ito hindi pwede kasi negative ito eh okay so negative uh, or 4 minus 10 maging negative 6 so ito na lang makakulod ng 10 okay so plus c1 x plus c2 ayan so Ito nyan. Nila nyan. Negative 33.33 x cubed. Then, calc. Substitute natin value ng x. That is 4. Okay. So, negative 2133.12. Then, transpose natin. Magiging positive 2133.12. It's equivalent to c1 multiplied by 4 plus c2. Ayan. So, yung ano kasi, sa problem 1 natin, and problem 2, nagsizero yung C2. Kasi, yung location ng ating ano, first support is nakalocate sa 0 din eh. Kaya mangyari ito, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 lahat. Okay, pati yung C1, magsizero yan kasi yung ating X is 0. Okay, nakamultiply siya sa 0. Kaya yung ating C2 is magiging equivalent to 0. Pero ngayon, hindi na. Okay, so meron tayong equation number 1. Okay. So, this is our equation number 1. Pero don't worry kasi hindi pa naman tayo tapos sa boundary condition eh. Sa B pa lang yan. So, try naman natin sa D. So, at D, ang ating X ngayon is, okay, so, hindi na siya 4. That is 14. 14 feet. And yung ating Y dito is equivalent to 0. So, ito, 0 yan. Is equivalent to, pasok to. So, negative 33. 0.33 x cube ito rin pasok kasi 14 minus 4 ito rin pasok pasok lahat sila okay so kung pasok silang lahat huwag natin isulat to okay isubstitute na lang kagad natin yan okay so plus 130 multiplied by x minus 4 cube then minus 5 multiplied by x minus 4 to the fourth then plus 5 multiplied by x minus 10 okay raised to 4 yan so plus 5 x 10 negative 5 x 4 and okay ito kulang oh 130 130 parabit kasama rito gano'n eh 130.67 okay the 33 then ito, raise to 3, raise to 4, raise to 4. Okay, so calc, 14 feet. Yan. Ito, ano, negative. So, i-transpose natin. Okay. pag isay na natin. Yan. So, uh, positive 9507.52. Positive 9507.52. equals to okay c1 and c1 natin is nakamultiply na yung 14 plus c2 so ito na ngayon yung ating equation number 2 okay so madali lang to I ano natin shade natin madali lang to kasi yung ating c2 wala naman siyang ano eh diba wala naman siyang constant value na nakalagay so ang gawin natin dito ipag minus na lang natin okay so, by elimination. Ayan. So, by elimination, ang gawin natin, subtract, oops, 
subtract equation number 1, okay, equation number 2 from equation number 1. Yan. So, subtract natin itong equation number 2 dito. So, 2133.12 is equals to C1 multiplied by 4 plus C2. Then, minus 9507.52 equals to C1 multiplied by 14 plus C2. So, minus yan. Ito yan is mag-0. Okay? Then, ang makukuha natin is yung C1. So, 2133.12 minus 9507.52. So, this is negative 7374.4. Negative 7374.4 is equals to ito 4 and 4 minus 40 that is negative C1 multiplied by 10. Therefore, ang ating C1 is equivalent to divide natin to ng 10. So, negative ah, okay, so divide pala natin ng negative no para maging positive. Okay, so 737.44 737.44 so, if this is pounds and this is feet, therefore, this is pounds, feet, squared. Okay? Then, C2. So, substitute natin yung C1. Siguro, sana nilang equation number 1. Okay? So, 2133.12 is equals to C1, which is equals 737.44 multiplied by 4. Okay? Plus X. And... Ayan, so yung C2 natin is negative 816.64. So negative 816.64. Ang C2 natin is pound, pounds feet cube yan. Okay, kasi wala siya nakamultiply na x. Kaya that is cube. Okay? So, ayan na. Meron na tayong C1 and C2. So ito yung natin para sa mga equation natin. So game. Ano bang pinapahanap sa number 1? Maximum deflection. Okay, so, dito, hindi natin alam po nasaan yung maximum deflection. Okay, so, actually, pina... Ah, okay. Dapat pala ang question dito is... Kulang. Maximum deflection in, uh, at segment. Okay? Add natin. At segment BD. Yan. Kasi, actually, dalawa yung maximum deflection natin dito. Okay, so segment AB and segment BD. Kasi obvious dito sa overhang, di ba? Makakuha tayo ng maximum deflection. Kasi alam natin na yung magiging, ano nito, um, pag ito, possible um, elastic curve is pag ganyan eh. Di ba? Dahil sa, 100, eh, sa 200 pounds. So meron tayo dito ano, maximum deflection. Okay? And meron rin tayong maximum deflection para sa segment BD. So, Ang hanapin natin dito is yung maximum deflection at segment BD. Ayan. Okay? 